Jed here to provide an overview of GoToConnect, a soft phone that allows you to use your computer like your business phone. This video will quickly show you how to navigate the GoTo desktop app. I will not be covering how to use the soft phone, however. Please see our online resources for questions about that topic. Please see the video description if you have questions about how to download and install the desktop app. There is also a mobile version of the GoTo solution. Download the GoTo app for your Android or iPhone. I'll use the desktop app for this video, but GoTo can be accessed on this site. I've already signed in as user Ryan Noble. Take note of the left navigation menu. Depending on the options available with your GoTo plan, you may see different icons here. For this video, I will only refer to the icons associated with GoToConnect. Before we go any further, notice the line selector. Ensure that you use the desired extension when using GoToConnect. If you see your extension listed next to more than one device, choose the one that says Soft Phone. You can also see the number you'd be calling from. If you have more than one phone number associated with your user, click the Phone Numbers option. Then select the other number if desired. You can also hide your caller ID from this section. Notice the app switcher icon. Depending on your go-to solutions, you can quickly jump to another application. Take note of the profile picture in the top right corner. The image of all contacts, like this one, will have a present status in the lower right corner. That color and shape will change depending on your availability to take a call. Let's go ahead and click the profile picture. The options here are self-explanatory. Select Settings. Although I won't review them all in this video, here are your general settings. Click Voice. These settings only relate to GoToConnect. I encourage you to explore the different options on your own. Select Audio. The audio section lets you see your current input and output devices. Be sure to check these if you're having audio problems. Select Find Me, Follow Me. Use this section if you'd like to forward your calls to another number, even a cell phone. Before moving on, click the notifications icon if you're using the desktop app. Later, I will talk about the call notifications available with the desktop app. These settings will need to be enabled to see those. Although I will not cover the other settings in this video, I highly recommend you take the time to review each on your own. These are the icons that relate to GoToConnect. With that solution, you will also have access to GoToMeeting. I won't be going over that product in this video, but please view the description of this video to find a playlist containing GoToMeeting videos. Contacts is another section that is used with multiple GoTo solutions. Although I will discuss contacts in this video, I will not be showcasing that section. Click the phone icon. This page is separated into two main parts. Depending which button you select will decide what you see on the right side of the screen. From the main dial page, you can place a call. Or click the contacts icon to select an individual or company you've saved the number for. Sometimes you see a commercial that lists a name instead of a phone number. In those cases, you can type in the word and GoTo will convert it to a phone number before dialing. If you type in a new number here, you can click this icon to save them as a contact in your account. Here I can include as little or as much information about the contact as I desire. Click the star icon if you want this contact to appear in your favorite section. If you scroll to the bottom, there is a field where you can add notes about this contact. 
If you have entered new information, be sure to click the Save button. Click the phone icon. To ensure that you're using GoTo's latest features, if it is not already, enable this switch in the top right corner. GoTo now has a floating cell phone window that can be used for all your call needs without having the desktop app open in front of you. That cell phone can be accessed by either dialing a number from the main dial pad, accepting an incoming call, or clicking the dial button. I'll click that button. Again, this cell phone app can be clicked and dragged to whatever location and monitor is needed. Once on an active call, you'll notice that you have different options. One option is for call parking. That is placing a call on hold and allowing it to be picked up by anyone in your organization. Call parking is only available if it has been enabled for your user. That can be done from the settings section. You'll want to select voice and then select calls to find that setting. Let's click that button. You can now select if you want to use one of the preset call parking spots or one of your own. Be sure to click Park Call when you're done. Take note of the call card in the upper right corner. This displays either active calls or those which are parked. Click that card. If you want to pick up that call, Hover over it and click the pick up button. Like before, this call card is now green since you are on an active call. I won't discuss the software more in this video, but I've added a link in the description for a video about that application. Clicking the calls button will display your call history. If you want to call the person back, you can hover over the message and click the call back icon. Clicking the voicemails button will display your messages. Hovering over each one will display additional options. These include playing it, calling the person back, marking it read or unread, and deleting it. If voicemail transcription has been enabled from your settings, you can also read your messages by clicking on them and reading the message in this panel. This panel deals with your contacts. Here are sections for the contacts you've marked as favorites and those with whom you've had recent contact. Rest assured that not all of your contacts are being shown here. Let's move on to the next section. You will see the messaging icon if you have a GoToConnect basic plan, as I do. If you have a GoToConnect customer experience account, you will see the inbox icon instead. Click the messaging icon. Let's talk about how this page is organized. You've previously designated the contacts as favorites by clicking the star icon in their respective profiles. If texting has been enabled for you, you'll see your recent text messages here. However, clicking this button will display all of your text messages. Here are the direct chat messages that you've had with your coworkers. Think of channels as a place where you can chat with a group you've created or others have created and invited you. After clicking on a channel, you can see who the admin is and the different members. Click the Create button. You can create a new text message, direct message, or channel. Let's start with a text message. Start by designating who you want to send the message to. You can type in their name here if you've already saved them as a contact. Otherwise, you'll want to add the number. 
You do not need to worry about adding spaces or dashes. Before typing a message, take note of the Send From field. If you have multiple phone numbers associated with your account, you'll want to ensure that you're selecting the correct one. In my case, however, I only have the one number to choose from. Now enter your message. You can also attach a file to this message and add emojis if desired. Please view our online resources if you have questions about what types of files can be sent. Let's create a new direct message. This is similar to the texting screen where you can choose the recipient and type the message. Finally, let's create a new channel. Now give the new channel a name and click Create. Click the Add Members button. Now select the applicable members of your organization. You can add or remove members from the channel at any time. And like on the previous screens, you can type your messages at the bottom. That's all there is to this quick start overview video of using GoToConnect with the desktop app.